Leo is whatever you want it to be. It's a preamp, it's a DAC, it's a phono stage, or it's an integrated amplifier. Or, it's all of the above and so much more. Now look, as far as I'm concerned, this modular concept is neat and all, but unless you have a platform worth chatting about, then what you really have is an idea destined to fizzle out from the get-go. Fortunately for us, Vinnie Rossi's platform isn't just tossing together a boutique resistor here and a capacitor there. It's a radically new way of approaching one of the biggest culprits to crappy sound. Garbage in, garbage out. Pure DC Forever offers a patent-pending power supply design that completely isolates all audio circuitry from the AC mains power at all times. Taking what he had learned from Redwine Audio, Vinny knew that battery power components had their merits, but needed to work with a platform that didn't suffer from the downsides of recharging. With ultra-power capacitors, Vinny has walked away from batteries but maintained the sonic benefits. The ultra power caps are constantly feeding clean power while rapidly recharging all at the same time. Oh, and folks that are sick to death of hearing me ramble on about power cords might want to stick around as the Leo makes these kinds of purchases truly optional. Yanking the top off the Leo, we get a glimpse of what's happening, and the first thing you won't see is a typical transformer that can induce hum and noise. Even more, you won't see a mess of wiring cables routed through the Leo. No, Vinnie Rossi takes a very different approach and makes the claim that a better way to handle such things is direct connections with the Leo modules. With the use of a unique motherboard, each module has their own dedicated, low noise linear voltage regulation fed by the bank of ultra capacitors. For those with eyes glazing over, let's cut to the chase. The Leo is doing something very different, and this kind of design is not only refreshing to see, it also seems like a common sense method on how to handle challenges that so many manufacturers are using band-aids for. For those interested in navigating through the ins and outs of DC forever, feel free to follow up with Vinny himself on his Audio Circle forums. He also has a fantastic explanation of the technology on his site, and both of these links will be in the description box below. Breathing life into the Leo begins with preamp options that are done the right way. You won't find 27 decibels of gain, and you certainly won't find a crappy potentiometer tossed in as an afterthought. No, the Leo can be configured with three options for its line stage, and all will provide high quality sonics regardless of the tone you are searching for. When adding the RVC tube stage to Leo, you are adding the heft, weight, and holographic magic that I've heard in well-designed tube preamps. Those who are searching for meat on the bones and a bold mid-band will love this combo. Also, with dynamics, the addition of the tube stage helps with the RVC. It hits harder and there is greater foundation through the entire audio spectrum. Anything and everything mid-band blossoms and has more of a velvety texture added to it without sacrificing too much detail. All in all, I think the RVC tube stage is 100% soul and defines what 2 magic in the midband is all about. When swapping out to the AVC tube stage module, I can clearly hear this is where things get very transparent. The AVC and tube stage combo is ridiculously good with deeper staging and a wider reach. Everything in the mix sounds more defined, and with the tubes included, you don't end up with something so squeaky clean that it loses the soul in music. I can't say that this module is more dynamic than the RVC and tube stage, but I can say that it sounds more refined and handles more complex passages with greater ease and finesse. Knowing the DHT module costs 6000 bucks to jump from this module, I would make the assumption that this is probably the real sweet spot for those buying the Leo. Featuring a discrete Class A JFAT design, this module provides zero feedback used in its gain stages and RIAA stages. 
Even more, this module offers not one, but two moving coil inputs for those lucky enough to have a couple tables, arms, or carts that they want to play with, making this module a dream come true for quick comparisons and versatility. Both moving coil sections provide 60 decibels of gain and 16 load settings ranging from 26 to 47k ohms. Also included is an input for moving magnet cartridges which again could be used in conjunction with an MC card at the same time. With 40 decibels of gain on the MM front and the typical 47k loading capacitance, this module is going to have any analog purist covered with just about any cartridge combo that I can dream up. Rounding things out, the module offers oxidation resistant rhodium plated RCA jacks and a Bellison super regulator module for ultra low noise power feed. So I get it. It typically sucks to change the loading input impedance on your phono stage as you usually have small jumpers to deal with and even then, doing a direct AB is never going to happen. With the remote cartridge loading module added to the phono stage, the included remote just became your very best friend. Sit back, relax, and choose from the 255 loading settings and even create two presets to quickly compare on the fly. With a load range from 5 to 2000 ohms, my gut tells me you're going to be just fine in getting the best out of your MC cartridge. All while listening to music in real time as you change the impedance. Brilliant. With bit-perfect playback of sampling rates from 44.1 kHz to 384 kHz and DSD thrown into the mix, this state-of-the-art DAC isn't going to cut any corners for those who want to plug in a digital source. Making this module unique, Team Rossi utilizes two dedicated circuit boards, one optimized for DA converters and analog output stage and user replaceable, allowing you to swap out the board as newer DACs are released and technology improves. The lower board handles the conversion of the three inputs to the digital interface bus, reclocking and jitter reduction, galvanic isolation, and linear voltage regulation. Bottom line, whether you are plugging in via USB, BNC, or optical, this DAC is ready to rock and roll. With enough power on tap to run just about any headphone you're ever going to reach for, the HPA module offers both single-ended and balanced outputs, which can be configured at the time of purchase. Being able to drive 1 watt into 32 ohms single-ended or 2 watts into a balanced connection, the HPA module offers high-resolution playback for headphone enthusiasts alike. With high and low jumper settings to control the volume, gain is set between 0 and 12 decibels, which in my listening tests worked well with every single headphone that I had on hand, even the power-hungry Odyssey LCD2s. Clearly the Leo is quite technical and while some of this info is pretty dry, anyone who has been around Hi-Fi for a while is probably scratching their head right now and asking the same question that I did. How is all of this even possible? Vinny is certainly onto something, and as far as I'm concerned, this young man is setting the stage for what I would hope to be serious progress in the Hi-Fi industry. Yeah, the Leo is whatever you want it to be. As for this reviewer, I'll take the Leo for what it really is, the most innovative hi-fi product that I have ever seen or heard.